Patriots are two-thirds of the way through their practice week, and we have yet to see Stephon Gilmore or Eric Rowe on the field, and that's kind of a problem with the reigning MVP and Matt Ryan coming to town on Sunday night for a Super Bowl 51 rematch. Now, we can right away know that Eric Rowe is not going to play. He injured that groin again three weeks ago. Even if he comes back Friday, you got to think that's what the following week at least in mind, and that's a best-case scenario. As for Gilmore, that's the biggest story going into Friday. If he's on the field, there's still a chance that he could play. If he doesn't practice, you're going back to, again, at least 2008, if not long before then, since the Patriots have had a guy miss an entire week of practice and then playing that week's game. Right, and, and you have to think, you know, when the Patriots signed Gilmore, they had to be thinking to some of the games like this one, where you have Julio Jones, uh, arguably, the best receiver in the game coming in and you have to think Gilmore you know one of the taller cornerbacks that they have going against such an elite receiver who did special things during that Super Bowl making great catches you had to want to put Gilmore on that guy and if he can't play you know it's a huge disappointment and if he can't play that means you're gonna see more of Johnson Batamosi who played well last week against the Jets but Josh McCown didn't really test him all that much. For some reason, McCown liked throwing at Malcolm Butler. Threw at Malcolm <laughs> Butler eight times, which is twice as much as he threw against Jonathan Jones and Johnson Batamosi combined. Matt Ryan hasn't had a great season, of course, but he has been really good over the course of his career at exploiting matchup issues. You know where he's going to be looking Sunday night if Gilmore and Rowe aren't out there.